One of the oldest surgical practices, trepanation involved drilling holes into the skull to treat ailments like headaches or mental illness. Dating back to 7,000 years ago, evidence shows primitive tools like flint or obsidian were used. Surprisingly, many skulls reveal signs of healing, suggesting some patients survive this brutal procedure. Ancient cultures believed it released evil spirits or cured seizures. This practice laid the foundation for early neurosurgery, despite its crude methods and high mortality rates. For over 2,000 years, bloodletting was a standard cure for almost any illness based on the flawed four humors theory. Physicians used lancets or leeches to drain excess blood, often worsening patients' conditions. Famous figures like George Washington died from excessive blood loss during treatment. Medieval texts detail elaborate charts showing which veins to cut for specific ailments. This dangerous practice persisted until the 19th century, demonstrating how medical dogma can overshadow evidence. From crushed mummies to snake oil, 18th to 19th century medicine exploited bizarre animal products. Mumia, ground Egyptian mummies, was consumed as a cure-all, leading to fake mummy trafficking. Snake oil salesmen peddled fraudulent elixirs containing no actual snake derivatives. Even King Charles II drank King's Drops, made from human skulls. These remedies reflected both desperation and the profit-driven quackery of pre-scientific medicine, often causing more harm than healing. In 1943, Swiss chemist Albert Hoffman accidentally ingested LSD-25 and experienced the world's first acid trip during his now-famous Bicycle Day. Initially developed as a circulatory stimulant, LSD's psychedelic effects revolutionized psychiatry before becoming a counterculture symbol. Hoffman's lab notes described vivid hallucinations, while later research explored its potential for treating depression. This serendipitous discovery highlights how medical breakthroughs often emerge from unexpected accidents.